There aren't any public two-week moorings on this section of the Thames. The longest we've found is 72 hours, where the first night's free, and then you pay £5 per night for the next two nights. How are you finding the Thames? Uh, Thames has been great. It's been fine. Uh, I really like Hampton Court. The traffic is definitely higher, but it's nice and wide, and you don't have much chance of getting wide. anything. Yeah, it's really wide. Yeah, we had three days at Hampton Court, and now we've had three... Two, three days in Kingston, in Kingston. where it's been blisteringly so hot. hot. Um, <laughs> too hot to be on the boat. Too hot to be in the boat by any circumstances, so we've been spending a lot of time... Off the boat. Off the boat, doing some touristing and stuff. Um, so now we are heading to Teddington, um, and that's where we're going to turn around, because at the Teddington Lock, the Thames becomes tidal, and we're not ready for the tidal Thames. She's not ready for the tidal Thames. <laughs> So we're going to turn around and head back. All right, might run by a little uh, chandlery there to get some pieces for installing the new toilet, which we received when we were sitting at Hampton Court. Yeah, so that's... I have not installed yet. That's heavily on our minds that we need to do the install. Yeah. Um, so just tr trying to logistically work out how to do that. Yeah. So today is a fairly simple trip. It's going to be up to Teddington and then back to Hampton Court. And uh, hopefully no major you know, oddities or anything. Just a few hundred swans and some Canada geese. Some what? Canada, not Canadian. When mooring up in Kingston, try and get a mooring that isn't directly outside of a major pub. Well, we're opposite the pub and it was only really noisy on Saturday night, but on Friday night we were on the other side and we were outside like a park branch. Between two pubs. And um, there was just these kids drinking. All night. No, till midnight. All night. Till midnight. But they were fine. All evening. It was really nice being in the centre of Kingston. It was a bit noisy on the Friday and Saturday nights, but other than that, it was a great location and really convenient for getting the train into central London. Some of the houses backing out to the river in Hampton Wick were huge. Some even had boathouses at the end of the garden. Some of the passenger and tour boats between Hampton and central London were pretty big and kicked up quite a wake. In some places it didn't feel like you were in London at all, it felt more rural. Just before we got to Teddington Lock, we had to turn the boat around and reverse up to the wharf. This is Teddington, um, and behind us that way past the wharf is Teddington Lock. It's the biggest lock we've seen so far, but we're not going beyond it, because beyond it is the Tidal Thames, and Jojo is not ready for the Tidal Thames. We're heading back towards Hampton Court Palace, where we'll probably park up for the night. Um, the main reason we came up here was just to see it and get as far as we could. One side mission was to walk over to the Chandlery on the other side of the pedestrian bridge over here, and um, it's a nice little shop, very small little shop, been here for 30 years apparently, but uh, didn't have anything we needed. Then it was back upstream to Kingston, under the rail and road bridges and past our previous morning. And then past the eclectic mix of craft moored along the river. That was an industrial life raft from a container ship. Lots of narrow boats and wide beams and private moorings. And some boats that have seen better days. Like this old working boat with a tree growing in it. I wanted to turn it into this tunnel, but Joe wouldn't let me.
There are lots of islands all along this part of the Thames, some overgrown. Many were covered in houses, but the only access was by boat. Hello, Swan. Okay, what are we talking about? Just say what you're going to say. My arm oh, is really hurting. When mooring up. So we are turning around and going back towards um, Hampton Court High. Hampton Court Palace. Hampton Pork Pie. What? How are you enjoying the British summer? Oh, yeah. What the hell? It's hotter here than it is in California. Death Valley is more pleasant. Some of the houses backing out onto the river at Hampton Wick were huge. Some even had boat houses at the end of the cord. <laughs> what? <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> what does that say? Garden. Garden. Okay. Boats and wide beams in private moorings. Lots of narrow boats and wide beams in private moorings. Sorry, I moved that. Sorry, I moved that. No, I don't. Do that last one again. No, I know. Do that again. <laughs> Stop it.